Hey girls, how you doing? Let's do a little picket card. Today it's actually a request. Uh, I appreciate that very much. Thank you so much. So it's going to be a bit serious about this. So let's have a look, of course. Let's keep in mind it could be extremely triggering. Uh, so stay cool. It's just tarot. Don't take it too seriously, please. Okay, I always say that. It's true. It's just tarot. Okay, so let's do two power. Let's see what's cooking here. One, two, one, two. So uh, pound number one is serious about this. Five of sword, three of cups, ten of pentacle. Ooh, damn. I would say yes, absolutely. Um, but let's look into this. First of all, they might act a little bit funny because they feel like you're out of the league. So if um, they act completely opposite to what they actually mean, uh, it's quite normal. It's a form of maybe arrogance because they feel they're not good enough for you. So people can act sometimes some, some like this. Um, it is, you know, the way it is. So uh, at the end of the day, no big deal, but don't take it too seriously. I think they just, uh, deep inside, they feel you out of the league. They definitely see you as someone they could get engaged with. Um, they may have met you or around the gatherings. And also they love to meet up with you and have a, a bit of light energy around you. You have fun, have a drink, something just nice and easy, right? Because deep inside, there is a 10 of pentacle vibe. So quite often it can be that they see the potential of you two together. And then in the long period of no communication, we know the story. Because during that time, you both work on uh, yourself and you work on becoming the best version of yourself. But you cannot do that when you're together. You have to do that separately. Okay, so um, of course, when you are done, then you can come back together and be uh, the power couple, a powerhouse together, absolutely. And you can be co-creating on a very practical sense. So it can be a building business together. It can be building a house. It can be having children. It's something very down to earth. And it's a lot of success and abundance. So for me, they see very far for you. You know, they can see the potential of what you could represent. But maybe it's a bit too much for them right now. And they feel a bit like, oh my God, it's out of my league. I don't know how to do this. You know, it can be a little bit triggering, of course, you know, but the intention is serious. Yeah. So they have to uh, do the homework, as I was saying. And it's about dropping what is not necessary and dropping that on the side of the road and go back to themselves, go back to the truth, purging themselves, knowing who they are, what they want for themselves. And then that's the point. If the more you know yourself, the more you're going to know your relationship. Uh, if you can love yourself, then you know how to love someone. If you trust yourself, then you will trust maybe others as the same way. So it's more about, okay, let's take some time off so then I can seriously know what I'm about and then I can come back to you and we can go for the real deal. Here we go. I don't need to go any further. I mean, I have confirmation after confirmation here. It's really equal give and take, but you want to be able to be in a position to offer that to the other person, but you have to be fair to yourself first in order to be fair to the other person. And it's really, I love you as much as you love me. I'm transparent. What you see is what you get. But in order to be transparent to you, they have to be transparent to themselves. So in my opinion, they're very serious because Pentacle in that context is very much longevity. We have Pentacle everywhere. You know what I mean? But give it time a little bit because use that time you also uh, for you also um, because you can work on yourself. I think when those moments of pause happen in life, there is a reason for it. You know, the universe knows what it's doing, right? <laughs> So, uh, as I always say, universe was there before, so they will be there afterwards. So, you know what I mean? Uh, you can trust that there is a rhythm, there is a timing that is perfection, right? So, your ego might judge it differently, but that's your ego, that's your problem. Um, but you have to think, all oh, right, hold on a minute, maybe there's some homework I can do, right? Use that time properly. Band number two, are they serious about this? Eight of sword, four of sword, six of wands. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because for me, um, yes, there is an idea of uh, maybe limiting themselves to a certain plateau, and maybe yourself as well, and realizing, yes, I can go to the top of the mountain. Maybe they have to be in that position at the moment where they find their feet, when they realize I have to get away from a relationship, 
it's not good for me and really go to the maximum of my capacity. I think the mind here is playing a big, big, big part because as well we have the four swords. It's an idea of healing. Um, you have to heal not only this connection, but also heal maybe the little boy or little girl within. Uh, you have to go backward in order to move forward. You have to go back to the roots of the issue and be very honest with yourself. What is this that you are repeating as a pattern? For me, they want to do that healing because yes, it's worth their time. They need to do that for themselves for sure. But if they were not motivated to do this because they know this relationship is worth it, then they wouldn't bother. They're going into something really massive because it takes effort and courage to do that work. It's not a walk in a, in a park. So if they commit themselves to their homework, it's because they definitely think you're worth it. At the end of the day, what happened? Yes, they're leaving maybe someone else behind or they're leaving a limitation of their own mind or they obviously they pain from the past and moving towards you because they choose you and that is the name of love number six. Let's see a little bit more. But they definitely want to do that work because they think you're worth it, right? Yeah, they thought they were stuck. Maybe they were stuck, yes, with someone else that was actually keeping them at that level. But now they realize, hold on a minute, I'm not. It's just a perspective. It's just me seeing myself. And where do I want to go? And how do I think I can go there or I can get there? Yeah, so there's a lot of work of the mind here. They may be uh, anxious. Of course you would be because when you're um, starting a work like this, you know what you're leaving behind, but you don't know what you're going for. So it's really, as I said, very courageous and I respect people who do that work. But it's an awareness now and that is absolutely stunning. And that may keep them, uh, you know, awake at night because it's a lot of, you know, work in the mind. But they know, they know that you're meant to be together. It's written. They were meant to meet you as well, to come across you in order to do that work. Because now they have to learn how to balance themselves, how to balance their emotion as well. Yes, maybe at first they were a bit like, you know, male, female, doesn't matter. King of Wands is someone a bit superficial um, who doesn't want to actually to dive in. There's someone who like to, you know, uh, be... Um, he and they're very popular, um, knowing everyone, but really nobody knows them properly. George is here, as you can hear. Um, but they had to um, face your strengths to reveal their own strengths. <coughs> Excuse me. Seriously, George. Um, yeah, they had to confront their strengths within yourself to realize that they had their strengths as well, or they could get to their strengths. So they had to reveal themselves. Yeah, for me, this is a big choice. Uh, between two, they can stay where they where they know where they know where the where they are and blah blah blah, or they can go for something completely new, a bit yeah challenging to say the least. But at least they give themselves a chance to have a different flavor in their life, and I think it's about time. You know, repeating the same pattern after a while is boring to death. I mean, in my opinion. So boom, bada boom. Mm -hmm. So we have something very serious here, definitely. Um, it's a reconciliation, is uh, being a partner in life and in partner in crimes, maybe. Um, it's about make it official. Beautiful, it's very pure, is the cups, because you are both in awareness, you've done the work. George is so here, it's insane. So on this note, I hope it helps, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.